What's up fellow gaming enthusiasts, my name is Chrono Magus, but you can call me Chrono. And today what I thought I would do is initiate a new series in which I discuss some of the criteria I am setting for myself in my collecting journey. Now, why would I be interested in sharing those with you? First and foremost, as many of you, I too am on a budget. Moreover, as those of you who know me well will know, I have a broad interest in gaming culture, and having been born in the 90s, growing up on my older brother's PS2 and GameCube, I am now in a position where I am trying to stay on top of the newer console and game releases while still trying to explore the older ones. Secondly, I hope sharing these with you will instigate uh, some kind of interaction in which we may share our thinking processes and approaches to game collecting so that we may help each other out. And third and lastly, um, it is a nice way of concretizing my thoughts and hence it serves as a good reminder for myself to keep adhering to my own criteria. In this video I won't be elaborating on all the specific criteria, I thought I would dedicate separate videos to those. Uh, this is just a short introduction, but let me just say this to you. I know the gaming industry can be a candy store. It is both a blessing and a curse. But I am here to tell you that being on a budget is not necessarily a bad thing. It actually does have its perks. It helps you to retain a certain level of focus, which means that you put more time and effort into researching the things that you want to buy. And once you actually buy them, you attach more emotional value to them and therefore your collection becomes more personalized. Well that's it for me for now, thank you for listening to that ramble and I hope to catch you on the next video. Do take care.